Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will be solving n chapter problem 1.5 uh, about magnetic circuits. So, let's see the n chapter problem 1.5. A ferromagnetic core is shown in the figure. So, this is the core, and its dimension you can see this has the width of 10 centimeter. The right hand side has a width of 5 cm, the top and bottom they have a width of 15 cm. There are 400 turns. The relative permeability of the core is 1000. So mu r is 1000. Now the first part is find the value of the current that will produce a flux of 0 0.05 Weber. And the second part is, for with this current, that is the current that we find from here, what is the flux density at the top of the core? So flux density we want to find here. And I hope you remember the flux density is flux per unit area. And similarly, we have to find the flux density at the right hand side. So we have to find flux density at this portion. Okay, so uh, to start we have to take help of uh, or keep in mind some of the formulas. Remember we need to find the current, this current I. This can be found if we know the magnetomotive force. We already know N to be 400 turns. So, if we find magnetic motive force, then we can find the current. Now, how to find magnetic motive force? You know the flux is given in the question. So, this is given and this is the relation between flux, magnetic motive force and reluctance. So, if we can calculate reluctance, then reluctance multiplied by flux will give us the magnetic motive force, which can be used here. So the first goal is to find the reluctance. So the reluctance formula we know that the reluctance is given by core length, mu r, mu naught, mu is the permeability of the material, permeability of the air and area of cross section. Now if you can see there are three different areas. One is this, the width is 5 here. The width is 10 here, so this is the second area we can say. And these two have width 15, 15, so this we can say to be the third area. But before proceeding, we have to find the mean path. So let's draw the mean path. But this is the mean path. And we have to find the value of LC. First of all, we have to define uh, how many different LCs are there uh, keeping in view the areas. So to, to do that, as I had mentioned in uh, one of my previous videos, we will connect the corners. So we have connected the corner and now you can see this is one length, this is second length, and some of this and this will be third end because the area or the width is same here. So let's name them. I call this L1, call this length L2, and this L3A and this L3B. AB because they have the area same, so they will be added together to find the total L3. Okay, now L1. This is L1. You can see this part is half of 15, so 7.5. Then is 15. And then is half of 15 again, so 7.5. So L1 is 30 centimeter. L2 is also same half of 15, then third to 15, and then half of 15. So this is also 30 centimeter. What about L3A and L3B? If we start from here, 
it will be half of 5. This total is 5, so half of 5, 2.5. So 2.5, then is 20, 20, and then half of 10. Up to this point is half of 10, so 5. So this is the top line. And similarly, the bottom line, if we are going from here now, half of 10 is 5, then 20, and then half of 5 from here to here is 2.5. So L3 total is 55 centimeter. So uh, with this formula now I will uh, find the various uh, re reluctances. First of all for uh, we know the permeability is given mu r. We also know that the permeability of air is 4 pi 10 raised to the power minus 7. We have calculated length L1 and the area i a1 from here can be seen to be 5 into 5 25 centimeter square converting this into meter this also we had converted into meter uh, we had calculated 30 centimeter divided by 100 is 0.3 meter and this one divided by 1000 gives you 0 0.025 meter square so we are now ready to calculate r1 plugging in the values in this formula L1, mu, no, mu R, mu naught and A. So this is uh, the value of reluctance 1, 95.49 kilo ampere turns per Weber. Similarly R2, we had L2 was 30 centimeter becomes 0 0.3. A2, now from here you can see this is the L2 or A2 part, so 10 into 5, 50 centimeters, which is equal to 0 0.05 meter square. Plugging in the value here, this is R2. And similarly, uh, for R3, I will use L3 and A3. Now this is A3, here and here, same. 15 into 5. Now this is 15 and depth is 5. So 75 uh, centimeter square equals 0 0.0075 meter square. So R3, again plugging in the values now, R3 is 58.36 uh, kilo ampere turn per Weber. So we have found all the three R R's. Okay, just a reminder that we have to find the current. So this is our circuit now, magnet, magnetic circuit. So from here we can find the force because phi given, total reactance given, uh, uh, sorry, reluctance given. So phi can be written as magnetomotive force divided by reluctance or magnetomotive force is phi into R. So plugging in the value of phi 0 0.05 and all three R's multiplied by 10 raised to the power 3 because these are in kilos. So the force will be 100, uh, 1008 ampere turn. And so current now is force divided by N. 1008 divided by 400 is the number of turns here. So it is 2.52 ampere is the current. So that is the answer of the first part. Now the second part is asking about the flux density. So as I mentioned earlier the flux density is flux per area. So one he wants to find the flux density in this region, top region and the other in the right hand side. So for top flux density will be flux, we have, uh, it is given divided by area. So this area we had calculated here, so the uh, flux density is 0 0.67 Tesla. And similarly for the right, the flux is same, the area changes, area is now here, 5 into 5 which is 0 .0, uh, 0 0.0025. So dividing, we get the flux density to be 2 Tesla. So I hope uh, this you can follow and you can solve this type of a question. Thank you.